Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I want to come to you straight up, hallelujah, from the throne of God. Information, hallelujah. Thus said the Lord. Second Chronicles 32, verse 5, and it begins with Hekaziah. He said, he strengthened himself to build up the walls that was broken. And it says, be strong and of good courage. Be not dismayed of the kings of Syria. Well, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what thus said the Lord. He said, be not dismayed because of the kings of the earth. Be not dismayed because of what Satan is doing. Be not dismayed, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. But notice, I go back to the first beginning. He says, but he strengthened himself to build up the walls that was broken. God says in this hour, you got to strengthen yourself. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We have a church and church. I keep saying the same thing. I don't know if y'all notice. God, the spirit of God has me saying the same thing. He says, be not weary in well-doing. Church, you're getting weary. Church, you're getting worn. Church, you're getting torn. I'm going to tell you why. Because the world has came into the church. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you have to find yourself, God says. Hallelujah. God said you have to strengthen yourself in this hour like never before, God says. God says you have to get in your word like never before. You have to be steadfast, unmovable like never before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And this is not easy. But he says be not transform to this world and be not conformed to this world. You don't hear what I just said. He says, come ye out from among them. Separate yourselves. Saints, you got to se separate yourself from anything or anybody that is not of God. And I tell you, sometimes the enemy will send plants. Oh, come on, somebody. Perception these days is also deception. I put that on Facebook yesterday. Perception is deception. Everything perceived is not real. You really have to ask God. That's why he says, test the spirit by the spirit. So it be it if it is of me, of of him. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah to his name. In this last days, the enemy is trying to take everybody with him. By any means necessary, he'll use whomever or whatever. He'll use you. You don't hear what I'm saying. You got to know that you know that you know that God is with you. You got to know that you hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. That's it right there. How many of truly know the voice of God? Don't fool me now and definitely don't fool yourself. How many of you truly know the voice of God in this hour like never before? Because I'm telling you right now, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and he is not playing. Hallelujah. You got to be understanding of who he is. You have to know your enemy, says the Lord. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to know who he is through and through. You got to see that stuff way before it comes. You got to pray way before it comes, hallelujah. Two men are getting caught up, God says, in looks, in lust, in money, in perception, what you perceive it to be, who you perceive it to be. Can I tell you something? And I'm not saying be led by fear. I don't trust nobody. Y'all ain't ready for me. I don't trust nobody except the Lord says trust them. I'm not trusting it. Point blank in the story. Unless the Lord said, because let me tell you something. In this hour, God has to be your ears, your eyes, your everything. By wisdom and discernment, will you make it through this time and this season? I said it yesterday and I'm going to keep saying it. I keep saying it's hot out here. Why do I keep saying it's hot here? I ain't never seen more devils in my life. In church, out of church, with the church, by the church, for the church. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. And I'm just being real. Because remember, what was the devil? He was the choir director of heaven. So his, his territory is the church. His people will seem like they're the church. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So you got to test the spirit like devil before. You got to understand who you are and whose you are. You got to get in your word. God says don't trust nothing, nobody, except you go to him. Let me tell you something how real it is. Sometimes you got to slow yourself down because the enemy will send you fake blessings. You know what fake blessings is? Let me break it down for you. It'll look like it's God. If you need money, unless, unless there's somebody coming off of you $25,000. Oh, that's got to be. Is it really God? Have you really counted the cost? Have you really? Hold on. Let me pray about it. Let me tell you what we got to go back doing, church. Before we make any decision, um, let me pray about that. Before we say yes, let me pray about that. Before they, you, you accept anything, let me pray about that. People are not doing that because not everything is just, oh, they got to be God. The Bible says that he being then evil knows how to bless too. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, this ain't in the game. This might be for your very life. That's how, y'all don't see, they already killing their own. You think they don't want to kill you? Y'all not ready for me. Come on, somebody, we ain't talking about no conspiracy. We talking about real stuff. 
The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and he's not playing, thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. He does not matter because guess what? He knows he has but a short time, so he's taking everybody that he can with him. But thus said the Lord, I have a few that have a bow down, a few that will not bow down, and will test the spirit by the spirit. Hallelujah. We got to come back to the oracles of God. We got to come back to the beginning. We got to come back to the basics. It's too much going on. Slow it down. Let me tell you how you know it's, it's of God. God ain't going to rush you. God going to say pray. The devil going to be like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whenever somebody's trying to get you to make a fast decision, that ain't God. I don't care what you say. Let me pray about that thing. Let me meditate. Let me hear what thus said the Lord. We got to go back to asking God. Not everybody try to call me. You see how they're trying to stop, but they can't stop God. Because I'm going to tell y'all what God has to say. Hallelujah to his name. So I pray that you understand that I don't just get up on here. I don't have time to play games. I'm here to warn you. I'm here to tell you what thus said the Lord. I am mandated. Hallelujah. And, and not only that, that verse, Second Chronicles 32, verse 5, if you keep reading it, it even talk about how Hezekiah he got beside himself, y'all. You know what he started doing? He forgot his mandate. He just started living his life. Ooh, I'm going down your street. Hallelujah. He just started living his life, doing his thing. And, and, and Elijah came to him and said, get your house. In order, thus said the Lord. Oh, y'all don't hear me. That's a word for some of you. Get your house in order, thus said the Lord. We have to get our house in order, thus said the Lord. No order, no God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And that's because I got that thing right. And just about when he got in order, guess what? His friend tried to kill him. Y'all ain't ready for me. You, you will always know if it's really of God because guess what? They'll be saying, you know what? You're right. We ought to get in order. But if it's not a real friend, it's not a real sister, it's not a real brother in Christ, they will come against you all of a sudden. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. <coughs> so I'm trying to choke. Man, that's something. So I just pray that you understand. That now is high time. When the end days, you guys, it's not to put you in fear. But I'm telling you right now, you got to, you got to be steadfast, unmovable, and hear God like never before in this hour. I feel the power of God. Y'all don't see how I got sweat. All of a sudden, I feel the fire of God. God is good. And that's, that's how we're going to make it out of this season. Y'all are ready for me. People are dying left and right. And without God, I pray it don't be you. I pray it don't be me. This stuff real. Because I don't care how good you are. And I'm about to say something more. God, God. I don't care how good you are. If you are not saved. If you did not say that Lord Jesus is your Savior. And you are not saved. You are not going to heaven. I don't care what nobody say. Once saved, always saved. It's not of God. That's a lie before God. So I pray y'all understand. You really have to truly be saved. And he said even the saved are scarcely will be saved. So you already know. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God in this house. Mm, hallelujah. I know y'all see me sweating all of a sudden. I just the fire of God. I feel it. Come on, you guys. This is a race we got to win. Hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.